from downtown Scranton, or maybe it's the hill section. Who the hell knows? A rather shitty freaking town to live in. It's a wonderfully pissed off edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants. And here's what I have to rant about today about the city of Scrotum. Excuse me, Scranton. They are fucking morons when it comes to construction. Literally. They're doing this paving project in, on Wyoming Avenue. And uh, they're actually doing projects a couple places. First of all, these fucking morons in any other city you go to that they're doing paving projects. When they chop up and scrape up the damn road, they usually go and they usually have a little uh, bevel. They put a little bit of black top there. So it's almost like a ramp. So you're not hitting it and basically blowing your damn tires. But not in the wonderful city of Scranton where they have a mayor running for re-election on a whole thing of how great the city's doing financially. You know why? Because you cut back on things like putting stupid bevels up. No, in the city of Scranton, they chop down the road, and then you're basically hitting, say, a, I don't know, two-inch drop, could be more in some places, that you're hitting with your car, with absolutely no warning, first of all, regarding it. And you are slamming this damn thing. So, of course, you know, people, you're eventually you're ruining your tires, your wheels, or your suspension. No wonder why people don't have ball joints and that on their cars in this city. But not only that, a lot of places do this shit at night. Of course, not the city of Scranton. We're going to do it during the day, during peak hours when people are doing commuting. More intelligence. Another reason why this mayor really should be mayor again. Court right, you're an idiot. Um, what else are they doing? Oh, then the jackasses, these yam bags put signs up saying, where well, you can find signs, first of all, saying road work ahead. Okay? And they're putting them up on the side streets that lead down to Mo uh, Wyoming Avenue. And you'll make a turn and go down the street and it says road work ahead. And you get down to the end of the street, and you have the flaggers from, I believe it's Flagger Force, thank you very much, who start yelling at you, going, bro, what are you doing, road closed? I, uh, the schmuck behind, in front of me didn't say anything. I rolled down my goddamn window and started screaming at them, basically. Y y you effing morons. Why don't you put a sign up saying the road is closed? Instead, at the beginning of the street, you have a sign saying road work ahead. So you have a line of freaking cars coming down these streets, trying to turn around in business parking lots with these yam bags from Flagger Force and the construction crew looking at you, waving their hands and everything, and yelling at you that the road is closed. Morons. Once again, showing how scummy and disorganized the city of Scranton is. They really do not know their head from their ass, basically. That's basically what it comes down to. A bunch of freaking yam bags doing work, a bunch of yam bags running the city. And on this, of course, it is how the mayor basically wants to get reelected because he's done so much good for this city. Really? Taxes have gone up. The city's like shit. Uh, the employees just basically abuse time and everything. You know, go look for DPW, or as I call it, dumb people working. Go look for their workers hiding out in the alleys and everything instead of actually working. Mm. Anyhow, what a scummy friggin' place. Unbelievable. Yet another reason why so many people are selling their houses and you couldn't get people to friggin' move here. And that, my friends, for now, because I'm sure when it comes to Scranton, there's just so much more to rant about. But for now, that's all I have to say about that.